Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M2, 2, 2, 1. In this video, we're going to see the functionality called Modbus Mapping for the Modicon M2, 2, 2, 1. So let's go to the presentation. In order to implement this Modbus Mapping, what I'm going to do is to use the Modicon M2, 2, 2, 1, and I'm going to connect that to the Modicon M262, which is another device, another PLC that we have, and it's used a different software. So the idea is to have in the same network, okay, over Ethernet, the M221 as a server and the M262 as a client for this PLC. You can see here the configuration I want for these devices. And the idea of this Modbus mapping is once you enable the Modbus mapping on the M221, it creates a, like a different area, okay, a percentage I, a percentage Q, a different area where another device can read and write information okay once this area is created okay it just just need to use another unit id in order to access to these specific registers okay so on the end 262 what i'm going to do okay is to define the io scanner on the definition of the percentage qw and percentage iw which I also need to add this unit ID that must be the same that I have in the other side. And the area percentage QW, okay, will be the percentage IWM that is also called output register. This output means from the other side, just to have an idea. All the information is coming from the other side and I write in from the M262 into the M221. And for the percentage QWM, which should be the input register, the input register should be like the other side, okay? Percentage IW should be for reading. Is if it is it's a little bit confusing now when we go into the both software, we can see the difference. So the first thing that we need to do is to configure the IP address, okay? The network. Here this the configuration IP address and also important this the mod was server enabled then we need to check that both devices have the same network okay this is for the eco structure machine expert basic and this one is for the eco structure machine expert in order to program the n262 now once we already configure the ethernet port we need to enable the mod as mapping which is this option over here once we enable the Modbus mapping, we can change these three parameters, okay? We should have the unit ID that I have explained before, the output register IWM and the input register QWM, okay? That this should be the area, okay, that we can read and write the information. So, as you remember, if we go back over here, output register, okay? The information that we coming from the other side, input register, the information that the other PLC will be reading. Okay. Okay, continue with this. Okay. So once we already configured that on the eco structure machine expert basic, we need to do the same for the other PLC. In our case, it will be the M262. So we need to configure that on the M262. So let's go to the model mapping. Okay. This is the same application I have done before. Okay. So the Ethernet port. Okay. Just go to the Ethernet port. Configure this to be in the same network I want. Then model TCP. Select this. The unit ID, you can change it. This is the default, this is also the default. And then I'm going to apply it. Perfect. Now, the other thing that we need to do, okay, in the meantime, I'm going to download to the controller. Login. Okay, PC controller. Let's wait for this to finish. Okay, it's online. Play. Good. 
and if I know wrong, I believe I have already configured a table. Okay, so here I have configured this table where I have the percentage QWM0 to the QWM9, and then I have the input register and they have the output registers that I have over here. Okay, output register IWM and input register QWM. Okay, so this is already configured on the M221. Now we need to configure the other device in order to read and write information to this specific area. So now let's go to the EcoStruction Machine Expert. This one, I have already configured this IP address. What we need to do is to add the object over here. Add device. See on the other side, over here. Mode was TCP IO scanner. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is to add a generic mode bus device. Generic M221, I contain the name, add device. Good. Now what we need to do is to to find the IP address over here. I'm going to communicate with the M221, this one. Now we need to configure the channel that's going to read and write information. So here, a channel. Here we need to modify the unit ID. And if we go back to here, to the configuration, we have the 247. So 247, going the offset will be zero and the length will be 10. We're going to read 10 registers. Okay, this is everything start for zero. Okay, you can also add some comments. Okay, and we have added the channel over here. And if we go here, mode by TCP, slay IOP, you can have here all the register we're going to read and write from the controller. So let's connect to this PLC to the ENS262. And F, just put the password I have for this one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just continue on this. Okay, no problem, just wait for this. Okay, the PLC now is in a stop. Now I'm going to run it. Okay, so if you go to the device tree, you can see here that the communication with the device is correct and we possibly can see some information. So just put, change this view, put it over here. Okay, just adjust this. Okay, so have these two. So I told you before, if we go back here to the slide, here is what I want to show you, which is the read and write area that we have for the PLC. Okay, so the output for this one, okay, would be the input from the other side. That's why you have the IWM. And the reading for this one will be the output from the M221, just to have a, a small idea what does it mean. Okay, so let's share both softwares over here. So if I want to write right now, let me just put this away. So if I want to write a value over here, for example, 45, uh, 44, and... Uh, same value okay as if i want to write this it's not going to be possible because it is going to be overwritten with the value that coming from here okay but if i put this value over here okay now it should be modifying this value on the other side as you can see okay so if you want to write information to the other side you just easily use the model's mapping to write information with, okay, as I'm gonna show you here right now. 
So if you want to read some information from some status of the other side of the PLC, you just need to uh, for the 50 on this side, okay, should be right into the 4, 6, okay, these two variables, okay, as you can see over here, and you just write the information, okay, so this is how you can easily write information, okay, from one side to the other. One solution would be not to do this and read and write directly to the resistor percentage NWU without using the unit ID to just go into the percentage variables that we have on the M221, which are these ones, okay, memory words or memory bits, but for this one probably you will need to use the read and read and write bar function blocks on the M262, but this is just one way to easily have all the data all together for read and write information with. Now, if I know wrong, probably there is nothing else over here. Okay, perfect. Now is your turn to test this out. Okay, just you can use the M221 or another PLC in order to test it. So this is how you can use the Modbus mapping in the M221 to easily share information to another device, M262, M241, M251, or another PLC. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I see you on the next one. Thank you.